Hello friend, this is Kalpesh Satas here. Today we are going to learn about how to use partial view in ASP.NET Core. So let's talk about the partial view. What is partial view? A partial view is a result markup file without a page directory that render HTML output within another markup file's rendered output. So that means this is a simple view page. We can call a partial view, but there will be no page directory. When to use partial view? Like create a small partial views file from large files. So it is easy to manage. It is just a view which can be reused across the application. How to declare partial view? A partial view is a .chtml markup file without a page directory maintained within the view folder in MVC or page folder Razor pages. Partial view file names often begin with the underscore. This naming conversion isn't required, but it helps to visually differentiate partial view from the views and pages. So let's check how we can declare the partial view. There are a couple of ways we can define the partial view. So we can first one is use a partial view in a controller. How we can define or how we can access the partial view from the controller. So here are one methods. I have written the method that will get a get message partial and I'm returning the partial view. So I define the message as a partial view with the underscore so I can identify and I just pass the one message model. There will be two property titles and content. Okay. We'll see the example, but here we can just understand how we can use a partial view in a controller. Partial tag helper. So in the HTML file, or we can see the .css HTML file, we can define a partial and the name of the partial view that underscore messages and whatever model you want to pass, you can pass it. And another way, a synchronous HTML helper here you can use a await html dot partial assign here is the partial view name then whatever the object or model you want to pass and if you want to pass some uh, data dictionary you can pass through the view data here i've passed the index we can show you in this example we can show in the example so let's check in example all the three methods how we can utilize or how we can declare partial view okay so here I have created one MVC application in ASP.NET Core. I have just created one model message where is two property content and title. And here I have created one partial view inside the same folder. So how to be find the partial view? Let me explain you. If you are call any method or any any partial view calling from the, this folder, like I'm talking about the index file. So it's first. Uh, first finding into the home folder if if there any underscore message fold message file is there if it is not found then it will be found on a shared directory okay so like first is always search from their own folder okay so here i have just defined one partial view underscore message as a partial view and there will be a accept accepting this one model that message model and there is two property title and the content and we have also defined the view data so how we can pass the view data we'll see that so first we can check with the controller so here we have created one method get message partials and there is a message model we have created and there are two property we have passed so it's called the partial and this method we can call from the html pages or CSS HTML pages using the ajax so let me show you that here we have the written the script tag and document ready and call the ajax so the get message partial with the get methods and whatever the html is came we can just put it into the server method so server method is one div okay so this is the one the second one is the partial tag okay so partial tag here we have created an object there is the title and content and this is partial tag and the what of the partial name we have the partial view name is underscore message and we can pass model as a message so this is the second one and third one is 
async partial okay so async partial is we have the one model with the some different messages definitely and you can write await html dot partial async pass the partial view name object name and you can pass the view data dictionary so we have passed the index one here so if they found index in a view data then it will be display otherwise it will be skip so let's run or we can see that we can reutilize the message partial in multiple way in the application either it is in the chhtml side or either you can return the partial from the controller side or api side you can say that okay so let's run that okay and you can see that the tag message the partial tag we have display message display from partial tag the second one html partial message you can see the index one we have passed the index message display from partial async and the last one is server message method that means it's rendered from the server let me show you once again the first one is a partial tag second one is async partial tag and the third one is server method so you can see all three are accessing and we can just pass whatever the model we have passed it's display so this is this one second and third so it's rendered three times with the different methods the same way so you can see we have the break we have to break to the large file in a single piece of code as well as we have reused the same com same partial view multiple times okay so hope you like this example and the partial view in msp.net core thank you guys please subscribe my channel if you are new into this channel thank you